Time now for a brief encounter. The one our Rita Braver enjoyed with an author who's refashioned children's literature. I'm Dave Pilkey. I make the books. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Why is this man posing in a pair of giant tidy whities Because he's Dave Pilkey, author and illustrator of the hugely popular Captain Underpants series. I fight for truth, justice, and all that is free, shrunk, and cottony. Also, a big movie this past summer. In underpants! <gasps> the origin issue! It's about a mean grade school principal who's hypnotized by two fourth graders into becoming a comic book character. But the real superheroes in the Captain Underpants saga are the boys, who share some important traits with Pilkey himself. They have something called ADHD. Attention deficit hyperactivity delightfulness is how I prefer it. <laughs> Which They're is known as disorder. Everyone right? else calls it a disorder, but I had a lot of the same problems. I, I misbehaved, couldn't s stay in my seat, I, I couldn't sit still, I was always looking out the window or, or, or daydreaming. And so I really do identify with, with kids who are, are outsiders in the classroom. How's it going? Good. All right. And the kids who flock to meet Pilkey, now 51, oh, my hair would go boing like that and my teeth would start to chatter. Love hearing how he dreamed up Captain Underpants in second grade, just outside Cleveland. His classmates thought it was hilarious, but his teacher... She took that drawing away from me, right out of my hand, and ripped it up right in front of me. And she pointed to the classroom door and she said, Mr. Pilkey, out! His mom and dad, however, encouraged his cartooning, helping him overcome his learning disabilities and the constant criticism from school. People were always telling them, this kid of yours, you know, he can't read, he can't, he's not fitting in, he's, he's, he's not behaving. I always came home to a safe place and a place where I was encouraged and I got so much love. You're making me tear up, it's so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> he made it to college and it was there that a kinder teacher noticed his gift for writing and drawing. She took me aside one day and she said, have you ever thought about writing children's books? I think you'd be good at that. And so that's, I, I mean, I wrote my first children's book within a month. And I entered in, into a contest and I won the contest and that's how, it's, how it all started. He would go on to write and illustrate several books. But then when he tried to get publishers interested in Captain Underpants, yeah. Took one look at it. Nope. Then they sent it right back. How many publishers did you have to send it to? Probably about 20. <laughs> but he reworked the story, and it was published 20 years ago this month. How many of these books are in print now? Last I heard, there were 80 million. So somebody likes them. <laughs> Apparently, they're a little popular, yeah. This is Dogman. This is the spin off series. That are they going to be in the book together? Eventually, they are. Dogman? is now at the top of the children's bestseller lists. And Pilkey cheerfully acknowledges that all of his work features loads of bathroom jokes. So why the potty humor? When I was in second grade, that was what made everyone laugh. If you put underwear or poop or diarrhea, especially, in, in a book, everyone loved it. Dave dreams up those funny books at the home he shares with his wife, Sayuri, on a picturesque point on Bainbridge Island, Washington. The two have no children of their own. By design or just the way things turned out? It's the way things turned out. I, I uh, fell in love and got married when I was 40, and, and my wife is the same age as me. Uh, we were just too late. We just missed the boat. Should we do another one? All right. But Dave okay. Pilkey says his whole one? life is inspired by the, the kids officer, he's met along the way. I have the best uh, audiences, I have the best readers, and that's one of the things that keeps me going.